this is a street view of where I was just in. I thought I'd only be able to get this shot, but I was very lucky today because the gate was open, so I raced in and got a whole heap of footage. Um, I feel quite privileged in that that gate was open. Uh, yeah, I just sort of feel like it was meant to happen. This is not a popular tourist site. It's not advertised as the real birthplace of the Olympic Games, but it is the real birthplace of the Olympic Games. There's no denying it. I mean, it's known, but it's not fully capitalized on. Here is the real birthplace of the Olympic Games. I've said it a million times, I'll probably say it another million. But that's it, folks. And as you, as you can see, it's in the middle of nowhere. I mean, you won't find this place unless you know about it. There's nothing here. <laughs> There's nothing here except the birthplace of the Olympic Games. Stuff over here, I'm just showing you random footage, footage now of the real birthplace of the Olympic Games. I've got to be careful because I'm walking on the side of the road. There's no footpaths, it's just an old, no wet, backwards village road. It's a beautiful place, beautiful people. But here um, is more footage. Far out, there's another car. Um, here is more footage of it. Uh, the town of ancient Elis, or ancient Elida. Elida, here Elida, as they say in Greek. Um, the dude Hercules um, lived here. The man that became, got legend status and became a god because he wrestled the lions and whatever else. Apparently he used to walk around with a club ready for action and a clay pot, clay flask full of wine. And when they were building this road right here, when they were putting this road through, they found a major, um, some dude's giving me shit over there. They found a major um, mosaic. So yeah, yeah, there you go.